Oh my God, where's camera? It's crazy, bro. Bro, you can see my pores, bro. Is this what 4K looks like? Nah, bro, that's crazy. That's <laughs> crazy, bro. Um, 4K mukbang? What you talking about? <laughs> hey, YouTube, let's rock out. This is a different type of video. I'm just on my phone, in the car, at a park. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing, bro? It's the new year, man, nigga. Let's talk about 2021, bro. I learned a lot that, uh, last year. I'm still kind of, you know what I'm saying? When the new year happened, you so used to saying this year meaning like 2021. It's like I'm saying this year meaning 2021 instead of this year meaning 2022. It, it's conf I'm confused, bro. I'm confused, bro. But let's talk about this. Let's talk about... 2022 2020 i'm confused bro let's talk about the last year just we just was in a couple hours ago i i learned a lot bro and initially this type of video was supposed to be for the end of the month but i'm gonna just do it for the whole year you know what i'm saying let me let me reflect on that i learned a lot and it was like four key things that really taught me how to move through this year 2022 because i felt like 2021 was preparing me as a person to really grab onto 2022, you be like, yeah, you my bitch. This is my year, nigga. Like I said, we is coming for next, my guy. We coming for next. Can't nothing stop me no more, bro. How I'm growing right now as a person, I'm ready. Hey, I'm ready for it. I learned gratitude for real. Like, gratitude was something that I struggled with over the years growing up. Growing up. And like, growing up how I grew up, it wasn't, you know, as bad as most people how they grow up you know it wasn't as good as how most people grew up but we you know what i'm saying me and my family we we did it we got we managed it we managed to live through what we went through everybody got their struggles you know we struggled yeah motherfuckers still struggle just gotta be thankful for it bro like if if none of that shit happened how it happened in the way that it happened i wouldn't be who i am today i'm extremely grateful for everything that happened Every event that led up to who I am, everybody I met, everybody who fucked me over, I fucked over, played me, I played them. Like everything that happened, bro, I'm I'm thankful for it. <laughs> the good and the bad. Like I accept that shit, bro. If I didn't, I can't be who I am right now. I'm not gonna lie, I can't. It just wouldn't be. It wouldn't work out. And then this year alone taught me. Not even this year. Like 2020 for real taught me perseverance. 2021, like really showed me that shit like it really showed me like perseverance can't go lie with this it's just not even with youtube shit it's just with life in general you gonna have you gonna go through some shit bro and it's up to you to get the fuck back up and go through it again and really know how to maneuver through what you're going oh so, this is quote bro this is a little saying this japanese proverb it says fall eight times like fall seven times get up eight and that shit really resonate with me because like bro I'm, I'm getting it tatted on me. It, I'll always say, bro, to lose means to win, bro. No matter how many L's you take, form it into a W, bro. You can't win without losing. It's just, it can't happen, bro. You just can't go out and go on a 10-game win streak on 2K, bro. You just can't go out and nuke every game on fucking Call of Duty. You gonna face somebody who's better than you. You gonna face a task that you can't fucking... You can't maneuver over. You got. You can't go through it like you always do, bro. You have to take that L, and you have to really figure out why you took that L. You have to lose, bro. Like, if you don't learn from your your losses, then you can never win, bro. It's another one, bro. It's another saying, bro. I just forgot it, bro. We learn much. We learn much from defeat, little from victory. I think it, it go like that. And it's just like I was saying, I took so many L's this year. I took so many L's, bro. It set me up for so many W's, bro. Like, I sacrificed so much in order to just make content for y'all, bro. I sacrificed so much, bro. Like, most people, they wouldn't just be comfortable with and throwing money on a PC. Like, I, I bought a laptop. I ain't even get a PC yet. They wouldn't be comfortable with throwing that much money onto that. They wouldn't be comfortable with spending that much money on technology bro if you want to do something bro you have to make the proper sacrifices in order to really want to succeed at that ain't nobody tell you that your sacrifices for doing something that you love or something that you really want to do deep down they can't discredit what you sacrifice because they don't understand you they will never understand why you did it they can only see through your actions later when you start to shit on motherfuckers they're like oh damn he really doing it she really doing it 
Like, if you a hooper, bro, all that time you put in the gym, bro, all that time that you sacrificing, bro, you could be out chasing all these hoes. You could be out here fucking, fucking all the bitches, nigga, at the parties, nigga. Everybody know you the main man at the party. You got that shit jumping, that shit lit. But if you, you that nigga who said, man, fuck that shit, bro. I got to stick to my books, bro. I got to put up some shots, extra shots. Just, just going outside late night, just shooting the ball. Just to get some shots up before you go to sleep. All that shit you sacrificing, bro. My nigga, you gonna be the next. I'm, I'm not gonna say the next Kobe. But you, uh, you gonna be the next superstar of the league, bro. Can't nobody fucking guard you. Nobody's gonna be able to fucking hold you, bro. Every shot you shoot, shoot, bro, it's gonna go in, bro. Well, not every shot, nigga. You gonna miss some. <laughs> I'm trying to be 100, bro. Bro, every time, like, you touch the court, bro, you just go know that through all this work that you putting in, bro, nobody can fucking guard you, bro. You just gotta keep that in mind, bro. All the shit that you sacrificing, all that shit, keep it up here, bro. Keep keep all the doubt in your mind. Like, bro, I remember, yeah, like, yeah, you said that shit. Yeah, I remember that. I'm gonna remember that when I'm up. Because when you up, bro, they go, they gonna start to chase you. They go, oh, I remember you, you was supposed to, you said you was going to be this next thing, you did it. Yeah, damn right. You wouldn't hurt. You shit me, you wouldn't hurt. They don't understand why you doing that shit, bro. Or they, they can't, like, comprehend the fact that you want this shit so bad, bro. They just, fuck them. Fuck them. You here for you. You supposed to be doing this shit for yourself and nobody else, bro. Like, if I was to say that I wasn't doing YouTube for myself, bro, that's crazy. I'm really not. I'm doing this shit for y'all, bro. But deep, like, I always wanted to do this shit. But now that I got a dip, different perspective on it, I'm doing it for y'all to do it for myself. That makes no sense. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> that makes no sense. I got way off top. Okay, so another thing that I learned, I, I pretty much touched on it, like, People will never understand you unless you put actions with your words. My parents and shit, like, I'm always telling them I want to do YouTube. They see that I'm doing YouTube, but they don't really, they're not really with it. They, they, I have to bring in revenue, like, basically. But I understand that. But right now, it's not that time for me to be making that much money that they expected me to make off this shit. And I'm not even in it for the money. <clears throat> like, my pops, he's just like, do that shit, bro. But you have to have something bringing you money in. And I'm like, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, I understand that. But real shit. I get it. You got to... If you want to do something, you have to make the sacrifices. And the sacrifice is me going to get money from a job or whatever. Working for somebody that I don't really want to work for. But, you know what I'm saying? In order to do what I want to do in life, I have to do that. I understand it. And I'm trying to... I'm doing it, bro. I ain't going to fake it. I'm doing it. But, like, my mama... Like, I could see... Like, she don't really... She she see the vision, but she not really seeing the vision. But I could tell that she see the vision because of the way she talked. Because I think with me doing this and me going about it, how I'm going about it, about it, I could see how much influence I got over other people with the way I speak on certain things about people doing what they want in life. Like people going out and doing something that they love and shit like that. I could see like my influence with me wanting to do YouTube. I'm influencing other people to do to, to do YouTube and to like really get on their shit. Like I really fuck with that. Like, cause that's what I wanna do, bro. Like, that's what I'm doing this shit for. To influence others. Who y'all up to be the best versions of yourselves, bro. To raise y'all awareness and consciousness in life so that you could live the best life that you could possibly live. To, to the point nobody could tell you shit. You did everything for you. When we all croak, the niggas who listen to me, not even listen to me, but the niggas who live their life how they wanted to live their life, and like truly live, they the ones who lived. They didn't, they wasn't just alive, just to be alive and just doing shit in their everyday life on robot mode, nigga. They actually went out and did something and lived for it and set a legacy for themselves so that they name will keep going for generations and generations, bro. That's what I'm trying to set y'all up for, bro. Another thing that this year taught me, bro, is, like, goes into, like, 2020, because these two years, I feel like they just... 2020 and 2021 are so connected, bro, because all the shit that I went through in the last two years, bro, like, I really learned that you have to surround yourself by people who are on the same type of shit that you own, bro. When you with people who what you, like, what you own, bro, all y'all motivated, all y'all grinding, all y'all, like, 
just on y'all shit, bro. The second you get around somebody else that's not really on that type of time, or you go feel it. And it's gonna start to bring you down to their level, bro. You just can't let that shit happen, bro. You can't, bro. Like, that shit does not feel good. I promise you. You hit your highs, bro. When you, like, everything is going right. Everything is moving so smoothly in life, bro. And the second that you just get around motherfuckers that's not on the same type time that you on, bro. It's like your energy just starts to just go down slowly the longer that you with them. And it's like, bro, that shit not good for you, bro. People always say it, bro. And it's like it. You gotta listen to when people tell you this shit, bro. Cause they not lying to you, cause they feel this shit too, bro. The second that you you surround yourself by a motherfucker that's not on what you own. This is a better example. Say you stacking up so much bread, you working a little nine to five, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put high school, bro. I feel like I talk to most of the people around my age. So, or just in general, like you stacking so much bread, bro. You you touching pay, like pay coming to you, nigga. You could walk outside, five five dollars on the ground type pay coming to you, bro. The second you get around a broke motherfucker, bro, you go really feel that shit. And you like, damn, why am I spending all this bread? Why the fuck? Where my money going? You hanging around a motherfucker who not touching pay? Why you touching pay? You can't do that. You can't. You gonna go broke when you not on a like when people not on your level. They want to bring you down to their level, bruh. Them people you can't be around, bruh. Them lame-ass motherfuckers, bruh. Like, for real, bruh. Them lame-ass motherfuckers, bruh. You cannot be around niggas like that, bruh. Females, too. Like, you can't be around, like, females. All my niggas, bruh. All my niggas, bruh. This could go for the females, too. If you constantly chasing somebody, bruh, they constantly chasing you, and they don't got your best interests in mind, bruh, they only gonna bring you down, bro. If they not together up here, and they not together right here, the only place to go is down there. Like, bro, you not going up with that person. You can't build with somebody who don't build for themselves. You can't build with nobody who don't build with themselves. Think about that. How do you expect to build a house with somebody who don't even know construction? How do you expect to win a basketball game with somebody who don't know how to pass? Somebody who can't make shots? Somebody who can't sacrifice and make get that rebound. Somebody who can't clamp up. How do you expect to win in life if nobody around you knows how to win? How do you expect to win in life when nobody around you know how to lose? They lose and it's over. They just, they, 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 they just failing. You know what I'm saying? They just, oh shit, man. We just took this L. Fuck. Like, bro, how we gonna win? Like, we, we just losing. They just accepting the fact that they lost. They not, they not like, damn, I lost. All right, how can I prevent this from happening again? What went wrong? How to, how can I prevent what went wrong to never go wrong again? You got to surround yourself around people like that, bro. I feel like I could talk more, bro, but I don't really know. Like, I just feel like I said all I needed to say. I wanted to talk more about like reflecting on 2021, but I really learned like them major four things, bro. Like, I learned more, but, like, them four things was just, like, major in my my year, bro. It was just major. Leave it there. You know what I'm saying? Go stupid. Go crazy. Go dummy. I got more content on the way, motherfuckers.